Hey everybody, I'm Philip. And I'm Justin. And together we are pajamas. And we're here to watch Hell of a Boss, season two, episode six. But um before we go any further, some disclaimers. Number one, we apologize for any stammering, stuttering, slurring, or mouth noise, a lot of which might have uh I do my best to remove things in post, but sometimes they come through and I do apologize. Uh disclaimer number two, it is nicer. I am wearing pajama pants. Not very comfortable ones. They feel like yoga pants. We're doing laundry. <laughs> so my usual attire is being washed. So The cold weather's coming slowly. Yeah, well, yeah. It likes to ride on the back of a turtle during the summertime. I guess. Even weather likes to take a vacation. Yeah. And yeah, we're back in season two. Yeah, I, I have no idea what to expect from this <laughs> at all. It's hell of a boss. Yes, it could either be a continuation of the story or it could be a backstory. Yeah, yeah. It could even be both. Yeah, exactly. All right, so you ready to find out what this is? Yes. All right, without further ado, let's crack the egg on season two, episode six of Hell of a Boss. <laughs> Rise and shine, Ozzy. Oh, again with the horn. Don't blame me. Blame how fucking fun they are. <laughs> Okay, so today you have a meeting with the distributor about the new shipment of vibrators. Then you gotta host a safety meeting because of what happened with the old shipment of vibrators. And then you have a nooner with Prince Stolas. Hmm. Uh, you schedule me during lunch. I'd love well, to have the job of Osmodius. But I left time for a big old breakfast. Let me guess, I'm handling that too. I mean... Unless you want me to take a crack at cooking again. <laughs> no. Never again. What? <laughs> Maybe I could burn the milk this time. Stop. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm craving? Burgers. No, it's too early for burgers, you maniac. Burger time. Burger time. Burger time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to see what that said. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can pick up some more while I'm out today. About that. You're still going to that contest rehearsal without me? Well, y you have a packed day today, and I know you aren't big on the whole mammon thing, so... It's the Greed Ring. One of the cities is literally called Ransom. Ah, you, much. <laughs> you know I ain't afraid of ropes. Sides, I'm slippery. I mean, only after I... What? What? Come on, Oz. I can be on my own one day. But you haven't been to the Greed Ring alone since becoming Mam's big brand figure. Yeah, I guess, but it's not like I'm gonna stick around. I can get you an escort. Ah, uh, I can handle it. Come on, Big Daddy. Please. <laughs> well, you know I can't say no to a face that cute. Mm-hmm. That's why I use it. Just a <laughs> <the> fizzy frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as I have the new shipment of. You mind trying to have an unemotional bang sesh here? Yeah, because we're so not in love. Yeah, Aww. love is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was close, huh? <sighs> Just come right back when it's over and keep your phone on you, okay? Got it right here. Be right back. After. Don't worry, Oz. I'll be super low key. Nobody will notice me. <laughs> Till no confetti things. Oh, 
Again. Stalking me now, huh? Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself, clown. I have my own life, you know, without you in it. Uh-huh, sure. Blitzo. The O <laughs> is silent now, bitch. And gee whiz, we've been in each other's relative vicinity twice in the last 15 years. That would make me the shittiest stalker in history. Twice is already way too much. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least I'm still actually working for my shit and not getting everything handed to me like some pampered attention whore. Ooh. Yeah, well, guess that's what resilience and talent gets you. <laughs> Plus, my horns were always bigger than yours, weren't they? Hmm. So, you say you're good? Cause we really need a big score right now. The bass had a royal on the ropes just last week. Sure, but not dead. Uh -oh. It was cold off, but I have a body count in the hundreds. I ain't afraid to go after anyone. Mm. Women, kids, and cute little face puppy looking things. Don't matter. Huh. I'll tell you what. If you can deliver something of value, I'll consider it. One moment. <laughs> Hired. <laughs> again, Blitzy, and with a famous friend. Ah, oh, fuck me. For the record, we are not friends. <laughs> Larger, you can never be too large. <laughs> you Larger, you can never be too large. <laughs> Let me hit the spot. Right there. That's good. I like I like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Hey there, birdie babe. Haven't seen you since you crashed my club. How you been? <laughs> Still getting your kink on with that feisty imp? Uh, well, um, that's actually what I'm here about. You see, I um, seem to have found myself with feelings for him. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's a mutual thing. Well, I can tell you, if you're looking for a love potion, you came to the wrong fucking guy. I don't fuck with that artificial bullshit. Lust shouldn't be about force. Mm -hmm. It's an art to be earned and enjoyed yeah it's all about that journey to pleasure town you feel me <laughs> oh no never never that i just you see this inn has a business he runs he needs to access the mortal realm to carry out his work i know your demons are some of the only ones who can traverse freely and legally i was wondering if you could assist me in finding a way he could too oh Hmm, Stolas, my heart bleeds for you, but my partner, uh, business partner, Fizzarelli, <laughs> hates your imp guy, Blitzo, right? Yeah, hates. He does? But why? Not my story to tell, but trust me, I would help if I could, Poor but I can't. Sorry. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You don't know me, but you don't need to. All you need to know is I have your little jester here with me. If you want him back alive, you will give me exactly what I want. Do you 
have any idea who you are fucking with! I think it's a recording. You probably just asked if I know who I'm dealing with. And, oh yes, I know. The weakest and most non-threatening of the sins. The king who will do whatever it takes to save the worst kept secret in all of hell. We both know you won't risk anything happening to the clown. So be a good little bitch boy and do the thing. My lawyers will be over shortly with the contract of demands. You have until the witching hour to sign it. <laughs> now cut. I said cut it, you fucking... Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, chill out, Jester. Christ on a stick. It's like you've never been tied up before. Uh, sure, but not by a bunch of psychos and a piece of shit. Am I... Okay, am I the psycho or the piece of shit? Both. Yeah, that checks. <laughs> How is this happening? I was just supposed to grab some gas station milk and rehearse some juggling. Oh, relax. I'm sure your big royal chicken ain't gonna let anything happen to his peppy little fuck doll. <laughs> oh, playing that card, huh? Okay, what about you? Seems your tastes have gotten more regal lately <laughs> yeah well unlike you i fuck who i want when i want i'm not gonna be tied down to some big blue blood asshole mm -hmm. you could have fooled me the way princey was cozying up to you at ozzy's hey stolitz only cares about having a rugged peasant raw dog him into his mattress it's nothing you know it's nothing else then why were you even there other very important reasons of course <laughs> i don't actually care i mean stolitz Other's is just a loud reason. thirsty bitch who loves feeling the thrill of getting dicked by the lower class mm -hmm. it's a novelty to him literally just said i don't care and then he'll call me and try and see how my day was and he'll pretend to care about me and comment on my photos and laugh at my jokes oh well that's definitely your clue right there that it's all bullshit i know right he's just a fake privileged asshole sounds like you just hate him for being a prince because no one and i mean no one pretends to care that much just for a cheap lay point yeah. is royal demons don't give a shit about guys like us they're all the fucking same that's not Always true. But I guess you're right. They can't all be the same if some have taste and some want to fuck you. Can we talk about <laughs> something other than my sex life? Satan's taint. Does fucking that lust guy make this what you're all about now? You brought it up, asshole! You two shut the fuck up already! <laughs> you pick her like a couple of teen skanks. As far as I'm concerned, you two are both embarrassments to our kind for meddling with blue bloods to begin with. Hmm. But at least Loudmouth here has the sense to only fuck his rich bitch instead of being a little purse dog. Oh great, mm. the fucking supremacist is on my side. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, know what you're even talking about. If you think you're superior to anyone, then you are no better than any royal. Don't you dare finish that sentence, clown. Hey, hit for hire. I said watch them, not fuck them. Keep your hands off the merchandise. Yep. Ah. Ever heard of mouthwash? Fuck face! Ugh, can I just sign it already? Like, can we move this along? Sire, you need to know the contents of this contract. You can't just sign it. A deal made with a sin like yourself would be everlastingly binding. Perhaps I can look it over. I'm a fast reader. Oh, hmm. This is a contract giving Crimson all of Ozzy's factory assets and giving him permission to use Fizzeroli's head for a wall decoration. Wait, what? Just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> Here's the real contract. Oh, oh this will be fun. <laughs> I love words. You know, That's last great. time I checked, I was a fucking jester, not an escape artist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just want to go home. Hmm. You want me to get you out? Y y yes. You had a knife this whole time. <laughs> now stop bitching while I work this. Ah, bingo. So what now, genius? See that remote? I mean, I could stretch down there. No. I have a better idea. Eh. Keep it down, I'm shooting eight ball over here. What the fuck's 
<laughs> they had to go like just right. Still my fault. Glad you can admit it. Want a medal? Look, I'm sorry, Fizz. I am so sorry that you got so hurt. I'm sorry for what you lost. And I, I know mm -hmm. I can never make that right. But you have no idea what I lost in that fire. I mean, it's, it's all my fault. I'd hate me too. I mean, I... Do hey, shit! So, why didn't you try to tell me any of this? Or come see me? Even once would have been fine. I tried. You were all I had left, Fizz. But they told me you didn't want to see me. I never told them that. Bullshit. You didn't? No. And no one told me you came. Oh. Oh, right on the stairs! All a misunderstanding. Okay, so I believe this draft allows for some factory ownership, specifically located in the greed ring, with allocated funds going to your client for the foreseeable future while ensuring the safe return of one Fizzerali. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Now, let me just reread this. <laughs> Hurry up! Yelling won't make me read faster. Understanding or no, it's hard to just forgive you. It's been 15 years, and that's so much time. But ah, I guess you didn't really ruin my life. Well, you're telling me getting blown up didn't ruin your life? It was painful ah, and challenging, and you know, fuck you still. But <laughs> it's not like I'm broken, and I now have someone who understands me. And ah, ah, fuck you, my life has actually been pretty great. Yeah, that's lovely. You got a good thing going on with that horny rooster fucker, don't you? Oh yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, Cause you know. It's a great gig, and, and and he's got the biggest cock, you know, like massive. I mean, imagine like the biggest, just a giant, huge, like a kaiju, but it's a, big, you know I mean? like a big monster. It's big. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I'm happy for you, Fizz. <laughs> like a kaiju. If you want to prove yourself, cowboy. Here's your chance. <laughs> You've been a pain in my ass long enough, Blitz. Now, I'm gonna break you like a fucking horse. Oh, don't you dare talk sexy to me. You're still on the horse thing? <laughs> <laughs> Fizz, remember how you used to distract my dad so I could steal his booze? I mean, yeah, why? Yeah, well, I need to get up to that window there to bust us out. <laughs> One distraction coming up. When I 
was a young boy. I never thought it'd come to this. The scars all seem to heal, and soon all I feel is regret. And now I'm a grown man. I've lost it all again. But what I'll miss the most, pay close attention while you get a look at this. Yeah, look at this. Then look at that. And here's a hat. This nonsense mostly doesn't mean a thing. But listen closely, maybe it explains everything. The secret to Bitcoin, computers, and microchips, the key to the future. If you only look at this, riches untold, you'll have dollars and gold. If you focus on me as the story unfolds. Look at this, I hold the key to the mystery Look at this, look at nothing except for me Look at this, <laughs> that I'm the very hell of the Let's go hurry the fuck up I don't know how long I can do this I'm gonna need another 60 seconds Oh fuck, okay the thing I'm trying to say I will say if you look this way <laughs> It's uh, just as a non a fitzer early used to say, Puta lasagna, contorni limoncello, forte piano. Buongiorno alla vongole, Luigi, Firenze, Bucatini, Cingale, Cingale. <laughs> Look at my face! I regret every event that got me in this place. This little song is driving me insane. My <laughs> show which is almost as impressive as the thing you said I was good at <laughs> I guess royal jesters first <laughs> uh oh oh your fucking shit stained claws off him <laughs> You think I'm just gonna let you get away after all this? I'm through losing these fights! This worthless little pet reeks of his overbloated master! Mm. I'll at least enjoy getting rid of him. Okay, is it bad that I'm getting hard? Shut the fuck up! Why is it always a sex thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. You blew me up again, you fucking prick. I did. But this time I stuck around. Oh. Aww. Would it fuck up the moment if we made out right now? <laughs> Still reading. That's it. I'm going to fucking end your life. <sighs> Fizzy. Aww. Get 
fucked, little one. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay, babe. You ain't never leaving the palace without protection again. Us, you know there's eyes around. I know. I don't care. Because hmm. they know if they tell anyone, I'll break them. <laughs> well, don't worry. Today I learned that I hate going outside. <laughs> Me too. You won't have to <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little messy. You don't need to apologize for getting banged up, babe. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there. It's okay, Oz. Guess I'm just not used to this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been an intense day. Just take it easy, okay? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine, really. You know I bounce back fast. <laughs> So, besides my whole scary hostage thing, how was your day? Well, I was stuck with Stolas the whole time, who, by the way, asked me to give him one of my crystals as a gift for that guy you hate. So, mm -hmm. I told him no. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Nah, fuck it. Let him have it. Excuse me? Yeah, why not? You could say he earned it. Mm. All right, then. Anything for you. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but having a violent brush with crime has given me a whole mess of new kinks. You want to go make a mess? You really think that's a good idea right now, Fizz? Sure, don't you? Well... Obviously. I liked that one. That was so sweet. Yeah. So. I loved it. So the return of Ozzy. Yes. In all of his lustful glory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he also has a little impish. Yes. Plaything. We also got a little backstory on how Blitz sees Stolas now. Because for a while mm -hmm. it's always been kind of confusing because from our point of view it's always like you can tell Stolas obviously cares for him mm -hmm. so why is he so like obstinate about it and in this one yes we get his point of view and we also get uh blitz actually owning up to something yes that's very rare yeah so i'm thinking is this is this a start of some kind of redemption arc for Blitz. Maybe. As far as the people is around. It would always be like foul mouthed and you know, abrasive. Yes, but it does show that at times he can open up when he's actually willing to admit it. Yeah, yeah. When even he cannot deny it to himself. Like when you don't have to lie to protect yourself in some way. And the the truth will set you free. <laughs> And the, and the whole, there's two sides to every story. Sometimes. Because Aroli thought that, you know, he started the fire and abandoned him, but 
He did start the fire. He was bringing him a cake. Yes. Happy birthday. Aw. Happy birthday on it. And he lost stuff too. Like I said, I lost more than you'll, you'll know or you'll understand or something. So when you're like the victim of something bad happening, it's hard to see that anyone else could have, you know, had bad things happen to them. A, in general, and B, in any way comparable to what happened to you. So I really like the whole dynamic we have between Fizzaroli and Blitz in this one. Then we have the return of uh, Moxie's dad. Yes. And then Stryker. Yes. So Who seems to be some kind of classicist now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like the royals. All of a sudden, he seems to be that way. Eh. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> the society we live in now also found out that Ozzy can like his people, whatever can freely go to the surface and back the crystals yeah, and they're like, oh he's back I'm like, oh when did we see him last time? I was surprised we didn't get any Blitz, Stolas interaction or even just when Moxie's dad whose name I don't remember when he sent the, the video message to Osmodius, like we didn't see Blitz somewhere too mm. in the video. And then Stolz be like, oh, Blitzy! And then... But yeah, Stolz was very much a... You're here for the comic relief a little bit. Yes. And in the end, to ask for a favor and get it. But I was surprised we didn't have any, any kind of interaction between Stolz and Blitz. In a way, it was sort of background interaction in which the contractual, if there is one, ties of what one owes the other. Yeah. And he wants to give him the crystal. Maybe that will show that he's much more than a plaything to him. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I thought there was like in the episode there'd be some kind of something more than Stolas just being there to ask for the thing. Especially since we had when Moxie's dad sent a video message. Bliss was also captured as well. But he I mean he wasn't as pertinent as Fizzaroli was, for obvious reasons. But I'm just surprised like we didn't see Blitz like sitting in the background in a cage. And then Stolas would see him. In the background is what I'm like, just any kind of interaction. Like, it didn't have to be like in person or anything, just some kind of. Their paths crossed somehow, but they they did indirectly. But I was I thought we'd have more of a direct thing. And we saw a similar situation with Osmodius and Fizzaroli with their relationship that, yes, it needs to not be very publicized because of social class. Mm -hmm. Those who are higher and those who are lower, they aren't supposed to, yeah. well, mingle that much with each other, if at all. Well, yeah, it's just like when Stella found out that he was, the Stolas was having sex with an imp. <laughs> yes. She was not happy. Uh, because he was unable to get a motel, a motel like some sort of plebeian, mm -hmm. which did imply to me that it isn't so much that he cheated on her, she probably couldn't care less. Yeah. It was whom he cheated yeah. on her with. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was, just, it was interesting to see a class-divided relationship that worked and that the person with the power didn't care because they cared about the person so much that even at the end when Fizz was saying, you know, they're, they're, everyone's looking. It's like, I don't care. It's like, aw. Yes. Where Stolz has already done that, just Blitz never saw how big that was for someone like him to be so okay with it, as we talked about in that episode, to be so okay with it, to want to go on a date in public. So, it's like, mm. poor Stolz. And well, Osmodius does have more power. Yeah. So, as he said, if any of them make a big deal about it with gossiping or anything like that, he will 
destroy them. Well, they also said it's the worst kept secret in hell, so people probably already know. But so where where Naturally. does where does Osmodius's power how how is he more powerful than Stolas? Like how much more powerful? Oh, that he presides over the ring itself, with each ring representing the seven deadly sins. Yeah, I know that part. And well, Stolas is a prince, whereas. Well, in the Oscoatia, whereas Asmodeus is a king. Ah, okay. Then who is the king of Stolas' realm? That's a question. I wonder which realm he actually resides in. Hmm. Hmm. But it was also very interesting to see the sociological interactions with how this world works. Mm hmm. What are you talking about? Well, of that. Stolas and Blitz, they aren't the only ones. There's mm -hmm. also Asmodeus and Fizzaroli. Yeah. And it shows that, hmm, yes, this isn't only something for him, it's for everybody in the social pyramid. Yeah. Yeah. Can't help who you fall in love with. We also see from Stryker that, well, not surprisingly, with every social hierarchical pyramid, there are people who don't like it for various reasons. Yeah. I mean, I, I could see it from the, like, you're cavorting with the enemy point of view. I don't agree with it. I'm just, I can, I can see where he's coming from. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset if, like, a working class person and a one percenter fell in love and whatever. But how that would happen in modern society without there being a really potentially scary power dynamic? <laughs> Because in this uh, in this uh, day and age, money is the ultimate like power play. Nothing trumps money. Nothing. There also seems they also seem to have what could be seen at least some of them. I'm not sure if this was maybe not something to be taken seriously, but when he said lust being the weakest mm. of them, I was wondering. Hmm, and since he is probably in the greed ring, does that mean that maybe these different levels, they say that they're number one and you are not? Hmm. So there might even be a hierarchy in the hierarchy. Yes. Yeah. Huh. That from their point of view, their ring is the best ring. Or that lust is just so looked down on as a bad thing. Creed is money. Money is king. Lust isn't as important as money. I actually do wonder if maybe someone could make a list of how important or how powerful each one can be but i would personally think it would depend upon the person yeah 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 it may not be easy to get one that's purely based on results yeah no no it would be i won't say vague but it would be blanket synopsis at best yes because i would think that each one would be able to provide enough evidence for all of them to say that and so, Maybe. which is why I would say, get some numbers and then put them in a hat, mm -hmm. wiggle it around. All right, now everyone pick a piece of paper from the hat. All right. You are, you preside over this and you have one. All right, you're at the top here. Or two, oh, that's you're not gonna over go here. Over well. Oh, number three. All right, you're over three here. All the way down to seven. All right, you get that one. That, you're just asking for a lot more complications and headaches and issues by doing that. Well, it may also help that the one at the top, presumably, the pride ring is presided over by Lucifer. Yeah. So like one, actual power. Yeah, power one, one's already help. locked in. It's going to be two through seven. <laughs> one's not going to change. It's always going to be pride. And the, and the only way two through seven are, are going to fall in line is if one dictates. I'm Lucifer, you're two, you're three, you're four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's that. Although I suspect probably Sloth would be at the bottom because <laughs> it would be thinking, eh, whatever, I'll do it tomorrow. Or actually, no. Actually, on the other hand, uh, so-and-so, you be my representative, you do it for me. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to go to your notes? Yes, I would. I am roasting. Philip's notes. It's not hot, but it is hot at the same time. This is like the hottest room in the house that we are when I claim made into the recording room.
Unfortunately, it's still summer, even though it's September. Speaking of things that are hot, see Osmodius and Fizzaroli. Yeah. They're back. That's cool. Fizzaroli wants to go off on his own, and Ozzy's saying, no, I don't want that. You know, go with Chaperone and mm -hmm. whatnot. He's like, please, blink, blink, blink. And he says, I can't resist that face. And he's like, that's why I use it. Uh huh. Well, use what you have and make it work. Yeah, yeah. It's called using one's resources. And I liked when uh, Fizzaroli got to wherever he was going. He got out of the car like all, <laughs> well, like a, very like my very much like showing off like a pimp almost. And I thought they were like dildos with confetti. <laughs> the dildo yes. popped out and then <laughs> spit confetti. You can tell that that was made in the lust ring. <laughs> it was really funny. Philip, I want a car like that. <laughs> we don't have enough money to have our own place. I was expecting you to say reach for the stars and then try to change the subject, but that also works. If we had the money you could have a car like that, I would have fun. I'll have my own version of things I think are cool. If we had the, if we had that kind of expendable money to, to get you a car with like dildo confetti shooters, I don't think I would complain. Then we'll never Thank have you. that. But if we if we could afford it, yes, you could totally have dildo confetti shooter car attachments. Thank you. That's a very beautiful sentiment. You're welcome. And then they're making the dildos in the dildo factory. And we're here, larger! You can never be too large. Mm -hmm. And then a sentiment that I 100% agree with. Lust should be earned, not forced. That's very true. Yeah, I like that a lot. It shows that he takes pride in his own art. Yeah, he yeah. He isn't simply trying to squeeze out what he can from it. Simply for himself. Yeah, and he could, because that's lust is. Yes. The essence of lust is a very selfish can be. And if you're the king of lust, it's about the gratification. It's about the pleasure. And then Fizzaroli and Blitz get captured. It was funny because Moxie's dad is like, you know, basically, show me what chicken do. And then he like reaches out, grabs him, yes. brings him back in. You're hired. <laughs> that's quick, wonderful service. Yeah. How very prominent. And then they're locked in the cage together. And they're like. Kind of just having this conversation that they needed to have a long time ago. It's been 15 years. And, you know, we found out Blitz is saying, you know. Royalty doesn't really care about people like us. And he says in relation to Stolas, It's a novelty to him. I'm like, oh, it's not. I'm not sure what Stolas can do to prove it to him, but I, I, I do like, though, that at least with Fizzaroli and Ozzy, that Blitz can see that it can work. So maybe he can kind of use that as a, okay, maybe this can work too, kind of thing. Maybe he, something to test his pessimism. Because he says, royal demons don't care about guys like us. They're all the same. And Fizzaroli's like, no, they're not. Well, it's the same being like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then <laughs> we've said before that Stolas is you in so many ways. Uh, Stolas is there with Ozzy and they're going over the contracts. And he's like, well, let me read the contract because, you know, I want, I want to take a look at it. So he reads, okay, there's this thing. He wants Fizzy's head on a platter. <laughs> and the lawyer's like, oh, good. Here's the rest of it. Here's the actual contract or whatever. And Stolz goes, oh, this will be fun. I love words. Yes, I do. Yeah. I mean, I do too, but you know, you're, you're an intellectual. You're... Yes, I like... It keeps my mind sharp. Yeah. You're an avid reader. Like, you're studious without having to be forced to be. Yes. Which actually calls back to an early episode of when Blitz and Stolz first met. That, yes, Stolas mm. loved his books. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, good call. 
Yeah, what I mean is like, you'll see me reading fiction, you'll usually read more nonfiction. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant by that. I was like, I love words. I'm like, yeah. It was cute. <laughs> and then we have like this whole like, you know, Blitz apologizes to Fizz. I was just like, wow. Yes. Wow. Like, it wasn't like, you know what, fuck you. Like, usually he is. He was genuinely sorry about what happened. Because he says, you know, it's okay. I'd hate me too. I do hate. And then he got cut off. He's already to say that he hated himself too. It's mm. like, oh man. This is, Blitz's self loathing runs so deep. How much love does Stolas have to give you <laughs> to breach your walls, Blitz? So interesting that all that Blitz and Fitz really had to do was to simply talk to each other. Communicate. Yes, to realize that even though they bitterly hated each other as about, about as much as anyone can hate anyone, yeah. only to realize, actually, they aren't really so different. Due to the case, yeah. Yeah. I could go on a tangent, but I won't. <laughs> uh, and then we find out it was all a misunderstanding, as we said. And they hashed it out, which was cool. And then we had the look at this song, which was really funny. <laughs> Basically, every cinematic uh, distraction yeah. tactic that you can think of, it's basically them with actions, what he's singing. Well, also, it's funny, like, not only was it that, but it was also they weaved in and out of so many different musical types. And it was it was it was ballad. -y, it was rock. It was pop. They just did a really good job of writing the music around the lyrics as well. Yes, he is a real, true, bona fide entertainer. Yeah. And then Blitz and Fizz escape after the song. <laughs> <laughs> and Stryker comes after them. And he's like, you know, I'm going to hurt you so bad or whatever. He's like, ooh, you know, you get into it. <laughs> Stryker's like, shut the fuck up. Why is it always a sex thing? <laughs> hmm. He's no fun. That's what was funny, because it always is with them. Even when Stryker caught Stolas, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, Blitzy does that harder than you. <laughs> so for him, like being like a hired assassin, shut up. Why is it always a sex thing with you people? <laughs> and then Fizz and Ozzy get reunited, which was very sweet. Fizz gives the okay for Stolas to have a crystal. And Fizz says, today I learned I hate going outside. Me too. I hate going outside. And that's all for my notes. Anything else? Or for my pages over on Patreon. This is a good episode. Very, very good. I liked it a lot. Yes. From now on, I would recommend to them concierge service. Look yeah. into that. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll never have to leave the house ever again unless if you want to. I wish we were rich we could do that. Oh, man. That'd be so nice. If only. But we're not. We live in America. Adopt us, but you keep asking. No one's going to adopt us. All right. Yes. Well, enough of this uh, dreary... Uh... Oh, if only this, if only that. Let's get back to what we do have. We have this experience of this great entertainment. We do, and it was great and entertaining. Yes, and as usual, it's always worth the wait. Yeah, I know. I, I was overwhelmed in the last one because we we moved and stuff had dropped while we were moving and all that stuff. But you can go as fast or as slow as you want, as long as it doesn't sacrifice the quality. And so far? Yes. As long as the quality is good, the quantity can be whatever you want it to be. There you go. All right. I am roasting. Um, I need to get out of these pajama pants. My shorts should be dry by now. Is there anything else I'd like to add about this episode? No. Okay. Um, as always, these go by really fast. So if there's anything we missed as far as Easter eggs or cool little things like that, let us know down below. Like even in the beginning when the, the newspaper was opened, uh, I couldn't catch it all. Or if there's something in the episode that you like that we didn't talk about, let us know down below. As always, I don't have a fancy outro. So I'll simply say thank you for watching. And we will see you in the next one until then. Goodbye. Goodbye.